As an OFW going home for the first time, it's a mixed emotion ng nervios at excitement. As most experienced OFW say, hindi ka daw talaga nakakatulog prior to your flight. So right now, we're on our way to the airport. Uh, it's uh, 2.45 a.m. Our flight is 7 a.m. So we gotta be early because this is an international flight. So we gotta be early there for about uh, 3 to 4 hours. Our bags are ready. So as you see, it's still dark. Everything's ready! And while we're on our way to the airport, a lot of things playing in my mind. And so for the first phase of this journey starts now. Belalita Makulit First leg of the flight is from Jacksonville to New York. Very, very long flight. We specially requested for a bassinet for a baby Serbial Laika who is only two months. And being seated in a special row, our screen is also special. First time to try this. Airline. 
after a very very long flight of god knows how long it is since because of the time difference say hello south korea What I like most in this airport, especially in Incheon, this is a very kid-friendly airport. If you have a very long layover time, surely kids will never get bored here. And the exciting part is here. One more flight and we're heading home. Cebu! And by this time, the kids are already exhausted. Except this little Marites. We just felt a different joy when we saw Cebu right from our window. Din tayo na homesick mga Lodi Cues. We're at uh, Mactan International Airport after a very, very long, grueling travel time. So, actually, this is our first time to be in this airport, even though I'm a local here. Uh, it's really, really nice. That's why it's a uh, they said uh, this is a world-class airport. Oh, finally we're home. Woo! What feeling? Oh, it's double you there. Woo! Nice. Ah! And first thing I have to experience again is riding at the back of the pickup and feel the wind. It's December here and it's freaking really, really hot probably about 85 and it's around uh, 1 maybe 2 a.m. so you know weather here in the Philippines is really really humid So many memories and flashbacks during these moments. Just arrived here at our place and first thing I wanna do is drink this local beer. It's the best tasting beer in the world with my cousin and our homies here. <laughs> best tasting beer in the world. And after our drinking spree, we decided to go to the market since it's very very early in the morning. This is the best time to enjoy a good breakfast. So we're here at the market right now. Uh, foods here in the Philippines is not frozen. Everything here is uh, butchered right there on the day. Butchered at maybe 1 a.m. and then So here guys, this is what the fresh meat looks like. Butchered like you know two hours ago. Look at those. And when you cook it, you can really taste the fresh meat. You hurry, 
Maria. Yeah. That's my girlfriend. Yeah, this oh, is our really very beautiful butcher. Vegetables, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, they're freshly sliced, like right here. I know. Look at that. Those are not packed. These are just fresh from the garden and straight out to the market. Look at that. Really fresh. Even me, I can really smell the aroma of the freshly cut vegetables. So here it is, straight from the vendor to the kitchen. So after drinking so hard, we're gonna try this tinola. It's, uh, tinola is a fish with a with a soup, with all the ginger and stuff. So we're gonna try it out the local way. Oh my God, this is the freshest fish from the ocean, straight into the cooking pot, right there. Try to imagine that, fresh from the ocean, with all the season, not seasoning, with all the spices, and voila, that's it. Just look at that soup. No MSGs, no any chemical. Just a fresh fish, spices, salt, and everything is so good. Catch from the sea. Ah.